Hey everyone, I recently bought this Monster Resurrected DVD and I decided to go through each episode and tell you what I think about it. And today I'm going to start with Spinosaurus. So here's what I think. Alright, here's everything I think about the Spinosaurus episode in Monsters Resurrected. Overall, I liked it. Not a lot of people like this kind of, uh, this documentary, uh, but me, I, I liked it just because it has dinosaurs. If it has dinosaurs or prehistoric animals, I'm gonna like it, but there'll be things about it I do not like. Uh, first off, uh, some people say Spinosaurus is way too big in that, when in fact Spinosaurus is about the right size. They said 50 to 60 feet long, uh, but they made everything else smaller, like the Rugops and the Crocarodontosaurus and things like that. And there's a part where they clearly say, you know, Spinosaurus is about 50 to 60 feet, where, uh, and they show a Rugops, and they clearly say it's 30 feet long, but they show the Spinosaurus easily picking up the Rugops, crushing its jaws, shaking it around, and throwing it away like a weightless rag doll. And that I find impossible. I mean, if you take a human example, take me. I am 6 foot 5. And if you take someone who's 5 foot even, and about average human weight, that's be like me picking up this guy, holding him over my head with my arms completely outstretched, throwing him for about 10, uh, shaking him for about 10 seconds, and then throwing him 20 feet into my neighbor's uh, two-story window. That can't be done. It's, it's near impossible. Uh, and then they go on to talk about Spinosaurus's claws, and they build a big machine shaped like a Spinosaurus hand. And they do the usual, like, slap it against uh, a gelatin and stuff like that, like, for human flesh comparison. And, of course, it cuts it right in half. And, but then they talk about Sarcosuchus. And what if a Spinosaurus came in contact with Sarcosuchus? Could it kill that? So they bring a car door and use a Spinosaurus machine claw hand. And, of course, it obliterates the car door. But I don't like those kind of tests because, you know, it's metal on metal. Which, of course, if Spinosaurus is alive today, yes, it could destroy a car, but... Uh, but the actual Spinosaurus, yeah, it has, it has claws as big as they might have been. They say in the documentary they're about 15 inches. But as big as the claws might have been, they're still claws. They're still keratin-made animal claws. And Sarcosuchus is a giant crocodile that has great armored skin. And in this documentary, they show it easily just one swipe cutting the Sarcosuchus in half and there's blood everywhere and it's dead, which I think if a Spinosaurus ever did want to challenge a Sarcosuchus to a fight, it, uh, he would have to do a lot more than just one swipe to cut it in half. He would have to probably find a way to flip it over and cut its underbelly or something like that. And I don't think that could be done either. And then uh, they go... And there's a scene where there's a Carcarodontosaurus eating a dead, uh, uh, I don't know, it looked like a Saltosaurus to me, but it might have been a Paralotitan or something, I don't know, I didn't really look at it that much. And the Spinosaurus comes to take this kill away, and I'm like, oh, cool, you know, i never really seen a Spinosaurus, Carcarodontosaurus fight on footage, I'm like, this would just be kind of cool. Uh, but no, the Spinosaurus pretty much comes up with his giant claws and backhands, well, he doesn't really backhand, but... I just like saying backhand, but he slaps the Carcarodontosaurus and it drops dead, and that's it. It's like shooting someone between the eyes with a gun. It just boom, slap, dead. And that was it. He kept his pimp hand strong on that one, and that was kind of a letdown uh, on that part. <laughs> and uh, finally, uh, towards the end of the documentary, they go on to talk about Spinosaurus's sale, which I thought they're just going to talk about the same old, same old. Uh, sexual display, body temperature, which they did, but they also uh, introduced a new theory I haven't heard of yet, where uh, they compare Spinosaurus to this bird that also hunts fish, and I'm kicking myself because I don't remember the name of the bird right now, but uh, he tucks his head under his wings and casts a shadow in the water, and uh, the fish are attracted to this, and as soon as they come up, he just plucks the fish out of the water and you can eat it. So I think maybe Spinosaurus is sail, uh, casted a shadow which attracted fish and then he can pluck down water and grab them. The only thing on that is that Spinosaurus' sail will probably cast a shadow to the side of him. So if fish were attracted to that and they came to his shadow, he would have to turn his head to the side, slam his head in the water, and then pull out the fish in a blink of an eye, which I think would be kind of difficult. I think Spinosaurus would catch fish easier if he was more like a grizzly bear. He's kind of waiting in the water and just pick them up as they come. 
uh, what I do like about this documentary is that it does show Spinosaurus attacking things other than fish, which, yeah, the predominant theory is that he was a fish eater, and I agree, he had a crocodile-like snout, he had the conical-shaped teeth, I agree he ate mostly fish, but I don't think fish were the only things you can eat. And people keep calling, I see comments all the time, Spinosaurus was a wimpy fish eater, which is ridiculous, call it wimpy, I mean, he's a big dinosaur, yeah, sure, he's probably, if you take a Jurassic Park 3 scenario, he's probably no match for a T-Rex, but he's a huge dinosaur, and to call him wimpy is, that's like calling a whale wimpy, but would you fight a whale? Would you fight and beat a whale? I don't think you can, did you see that? Uh, picture a couple days ago with a whale jumping out and crushing the boat. Uh, there's video on that on that on that now too. You should probably check it out. It's a cool video. Uh, but yeah, it's like, would you fight a whale? Would you call a whale wimpy? I don't think you would. And uh, so the thing about the fish eating is that yeah, Spinosaurus probably ate fish, but and the fish back then were probably well, some of the fish yeah they were bigger back then. They were pretty huge and they could probably feed a Spinosaurus. But well, that's the thing that they can feed a Spinosaurus. When in reality, there are probably several Spinosauruses living in one area that share the same water source. I'm not saying there's hundreds and hundreds of Spinosauruses using the same lake, uh, but at least double digits were probably using like the same river or lake or something like that. And I don't think there would be just enough fish to sustain all the Spinosauruses. So yeah, I definitely think Spinosaurus did eat fish, but they also went out. Uh, hunting bigger things, and I certainly do not think it's a wimp, uh, like some people claim to be. And that is pretty much all I thought on the Spinosaurus episode. Uh, if I think of anything else, I'll probably put an annotation up later. Uh, but so far, that's what I think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back uh, later uh, talking about more about these episodes. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.